In this exercise, we're given the following polynomial. 3xy cubed minus 4x squared y plus 5x to the fifth y to the fourth minus 2x to the fourth y. And we're asked, first of all, to identify the degree of each term and the degree of the polynomial. So let's just take the terms in order. The first term is 3xy cubed. And the degree of that term is the sum of the exponents on the variables. So x is to the first power and y is to the third power. So the degree is 1 plus 3, or 4. The next term is negative 4x squared y. Again, we'll add the exponents. 2 plus 1 is 3, so that's the degree of the second term. The third term is 5x to the fifth, y to the fourth. And again, adding the exponents, we get 5 plus 4, or 9, for the degree of that term. And the last term is negative 2x to the fourth, y. And adding exponents, we get 4 plus 1, or 5. So these are the degrees of the terms. The degree of the polynomial is the degree of the term of highest degree, and that is 9. So the degree of the polynomial is 9. Now still considering the same polynomial, we want to identify the leading term and the leading coefficient. <clears throat> Remember from the, what we just did, um, the term 5x to the fifth y to the fourth was the term of highest degree. So that means that this is the leading term. This was the ninth degree term. This is the leading term. And the leading coefficient is the coefficient of this term. So the leading coefficient is 5. Now we're still working with the same polynomial, and this time we're going to arrange it in ascending powers of x. That means that we start with the lowest exponent, the term that has the lowest exponent on x, and work in order up to the term that has the highest exponent on x. And let's look at the terms um, and look at the exponents of x. Here we have 1, 2, 5, and 4. So the lowest exponent on x is 1, and I'll, that means I'll write 3xy cubed first. The next exponent on x in order is 2, so I'll write minus 4x squared y. And then I'm going to go over and pick up this exponent of 4, so I'd write minus 2x to the fourth y. And finally, the exponent on x that's 5 in the, this term, 5x to the fifth y to the fourth power. Now let's do one more thing with this same polynomial. This time we're going to arrange the polynomial in descending powers of y. So let's look at the exponents on y in each of the four terms. Here we have a 3, 1, 4, and this one is also 1. Now we're arranging in descending order, so that means that we start with the highest exponent on y and work in order down to the lowest. And let's see, we said that the highest one was 4, so we'll write 5 x to the fifth, y to the fourth first. And then we have an exponent of 3 in this term, so plus 3 xy cubed. And both of these terms have um, y to the first power, so I can write this as minus 4 x squared y minus 2 x to the fourth y. Or I could write these two terms in the opposite order, since they each contain y to the first power. So I could also have written this as 5x to the fifth, y to the fourth, plus 3xy cubed, minus 2x to the fourth, y, minus 4x squared, y.